I'm here at Salt House because for some reason he still runs Wi-Fi 5! So to help out Sol and bring him into this century, I've got the brand new Express 7 from Unify. Yes, this is the brand new Express 7 from Unify. This is a network controller and access point in one. And of course it's Wi-Fi 7 and it's brand new. It is literally just come out as you're watching it, but I'm recording it before. But anyway, um, I think the first thing we need to do is get it out of the box and just see what we're dealing with. And then I can show you all the features and talk a bit about the specs before we plug it in and get it going. Let's have a look what's actually in the box. Of course, there's not much, it's a small box, but we always got to do this. <laughs> so the typical Unify experience. And in here, we just have the Express 7. So we get two ports on the back. There's a 2.5 and a 10 gig, and of course, there's a USB-C power, but that's it. There's a little display on the front and nothing else. Uh, there's probably a fan in it, I'm guessing, but that's it. That's the device. We'll get to that, of course, much more a little bit later. Uh, we also have a power supply, of course. So this is a USB-C power supply, so that's quite nice. And yeah, that looks like a unified power supply. And then we have a, ooh, a fancy, Cat6 cable. Look at that. It's braided. That's quite nice actually. I haven't seen that before. Huh, very good. And we probably have a bit more power stuff in here. Yep, there's the power supply. Of course, we have the American power supply because this is provided by Unify for review. So it comes from the US, but I have a spare. It's fine. What else have we got here? There's some literature, warranty information. Sure. And there are. Oh, <laughs> itty bitty bitty um, rubber feet things you can put on it. So they go underneath here. If you want to you know, sit it and have a bit more grip, I guess you could put those on there. Very good. And I think that's it. <laughs> yep, that's all there is in the box. So let's have a bit more look at the specs of this and then we'll install it. All right, so we got the Express 7 out the box. It's not big, that's the whole idea. Um, let's just go over what the specs are and normally I would show you the store site but this is so new there is no store site. Well there might be now that it's videos. Anyway, I'm going to read them out to you and I'll put them right here on the screen just so we uh, get an idea of what this actually does. So first of all, this is a network controller. This only runs Unify Network, it does not run Protect, it does not run Access, it does not run any other Unify applications, only network, so that's the idea. It is a network controller, right? In it, it has an access point. It has, of course, a Wi-Fi 7 access point. So this is a 6x6 antenna, uh, multi-user MIMO antenna, 2x2 two two on each band, because this, of course, has 6 gigahertz internet band as well, which is what we're going to test a little bit later too, just to see how that performs. Um, it has a 2x2 two two on 5 gigahertz and a 2x2 two two on 2.4 gigahertz. So you get all three bands of Wi-Fi and a 2x2 two two antenna on each. So that's pretty good for a little small device like this. It can manage up to about, so that's not too bad. And then of course on the back, as we saw before too, there is a 10 gig uh, WAN port for your internet. So this will support up to 10 gig internet connections, which I wish I had. I'm sure Saul wish he had it too. Um, and then there's a two and a half gig LAN port. So we could attach a switch to this or something else, but we only get one port out. And of course there is the power supply here as well. We uh, connect your USB-C. Um, so that's all there is on the box. The display we'll look at later when we turn it on and see what that does. It comes with a full security uh, suite of features as well. So you get your firewall and you get your um, app restrictions and whatever else you normally put on for security, uh, even a radio server, you can do all of that on this device as well. So if you've looked at Unified Network stuff before in terms of security, this does all of it. I believe there might be one or two emissions. Again, this is brand new, uh, but you get a full suite of security features, which is really nice. So it supports uh, SiteMagic, VPNs, OpenVPN, WireGuard, 
all of those things as well. So you can do uh, your VPN setup too. I believe it supports multiple VLANs too, like you can on normally on a on unified network and switches, but we'll probably just make sure that's true. We check that when we hook it up because I'm not entirely sure if that is true. Um, this is not a PoE device, by the way. This does not have PoE, these ports. So you will need to find another way to power your, uh, your access point, etc. So you can't just hook up access point up to here. You would need a PoE injector. So that, that, that makes sense. You want to have minimal power usage of this device, of course. And of course, this is a Wi-Fi 7 device. So the idea is that if you do have a Wi-Fi 7 device you can connect it to, you can use all the goodness of Wi-Fi 7. If, so if you're not sure what Wi-Fi 7 is, I did make a video on the U7 Pro where I explain a lot more about what Wi-Fi 7 is, and that is linked there. Um, so this is quite powerful little box. We get a lot of features, but I think it's time we actually install it, hook it up, and see what we get on the software side. might be a good time to subscribe if you haven't already because I am going for 50,000 subscribers this year and I need your help. I can't do that on my own. And if you like the Express 7 and you might want to consider getting one, there is an affiliate link down below that I'd love you to use because then I win, you win, the channel wins and I get to do more content like this. So uh, any help is much appreciated. But I have now set up the Express 7. It has been updated because there's always an update and it's now been installed, it's running, it has an access point, etc. So let me show you how it all works. So here is the familiar, maybe, to you, unless it's your first device, uh, view of the Unified Network screen on your phone. So I have, you know, some um, stats here on how fast everything is, etc., etc. how many things are connected. Obviously, we've just set it up, so there's not a lot connected, right? It's just running on its own, and there's my phone connected, and there's Sol's phone connected, and that's about it, right? Um, so this screen here is not particularly interesting, I think. Let's instead go and I'll press on the actual uh, icon up here of the um, Express 7 itself. And that takes you to sort of the switch version of it or the access point version of it. It's sort of a combined thing because this has, of course, two ports. So you can see the two ports up the top. I haven't connected anything to the 2.5 gigabit, but the WAN is connected, so it's green. And then we have the three different networks. There is the uh, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz network. And you can see that there are two clients on 6 gigahertz, which is my phone and Sol's phone. Um, that doesn't mean that they're Wi-Fi 7 devices, because they're not. It just means that they are able to use the 6 gigahertz uh, band, which is also on Wi-Fi 6E. Gets a little bit confusing. Um, if I had a Wi-Fi 7 device, I would absolutely show you that. But I don't. Not yet. Maybe soon. So you can see how many devices are on here and the client. So if I go to the clients, you can see there's Pixel Lars and there's Sol's S21 as well. Um, and they have excellent connection because they're next to the access point. Um, and um, you can see the IP address the, uh, of the WAN and of the LAN, uh, MAC address, etc., like that. So um, you can also go into the port. So if I press on the actual port for the WAN and I can configure that, it'll go to the settings for that WAN uh, port. And you can see here that there are VLANs, like I was discussing before. We have native VLAN, we have tagged VLANs. Um, we can set up more VLANs uh, as well. And of course, if I really want to mess things up, <laughs> I can press manual here and I can start um, choosing link speeds and port isolations and loop protections, etc., like that. So I'm going to leave it on auto because I still don't know exactly what all these things do and I don't want to mess up Sol's new network. Right, but you can. So, um, of course, you can name it as well. So let's go back here. Uh, you can do the same for port one if you wanted to. Then we have some insights. You can see how well each band is utilized or each frequency. 10% uh, on 2.4, 1% uh, on 5, and 1% on 6. Now they just changed. Um, I'm not sure why 2.4 is utilized because there's nothing on it. I'm not sure how that works. But if you know, let me know down in the comments. And then we have some uh, history here for logs, etc. We can press on clients. There's no logs yet. So yeah, they didn't do anything. Uh, we can do an environment scan. 
which is uh, which channels here are used. So if I press scan channels, it'll go through and scan all the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks. It takes a while, so I'm not gonna do that now, but it's a good idea to do once in a while, just to make sure, because Unify has this feature where it'll actually um, sort of massage the bands and put them in the better order compared to, uh, depending on what is around. So that's maybe not a bad thing to do. Um, some system statistics, not interesting. And then there are these settings. Now, this is really interesting to me. We can give it a new name. Express 7 is fine for now. But the radios, here are the three radios, the, the three 2x2 two two MIMO radios. And we can change things. Now, based on what all of you lovely people have put in the comments, I keep 2.4 at 20 megahertz because most IoT devices, for example, can only use 20 megahertz band on 2.4, but you have five gigahertz, which is running now at 40 megahertz. I tend to put that at 80, maybe not 160. Bigger uh, bandwidth gives you bigger speed, but uh, the five gigahertz band can only support 160 megahertz channel, which means there's no room for overlap. And if your neighbor has 160 megahertz, it's gonna clash, etc. cetera. So mm, I usually tend to put it at 80. And then of course there's the six gigahertz, Currently, no one has six gigahertz pretty much. It is very new, it is very fast. So guess what? 320. I put it at 320 because you get massive throughput and I'll show you that in just a second. Um, and the rest I sort of leave on auto because again, I don't actually know exactly what the impact is of those things. But that's just my approach to this. If you have a different way you think this should be configured, let me know in the comments as well. Happy to be wrong or learn. Uh, I'm gonna save that. And it now has those different bands for the uh, access points. So that's that's neat. Um, the, the 320 megahertz band on 6 gigahertz is very wide and it gives you many bits of data at the same time. Um, but yep, so now I just it just kicked me off because it's restarting or reconfiguring itself. So I'll be right back. All right, that's just restarted or whatever it needs to do. So now the bands are reconfigured. Um, and the little display here on the front, you can also see how many clients are on. Uh, what does it say? Number of clients. And then you have uh, up and down speed as well. I don't know who would actually look at that. It is tiny, but it's there if you need it. All right, so back here on the dashboard. So that was the, the, the device itself. You can then, of course, if you connected other things to it, if you have a switch, you can connect that to the two and a half gigabit port and you can have other devices on there. That's totally fine. Again, it could connect, uh, support up to about 30 different devices on the network. Um, and of course I could go to the unified devices here. There's only the Express 7, but there would be a list of them. We can see the uh, clients that are on, which is me and Sol. And then there are some insights, which you get for um, for any Unify setup with a network controller. You can see there's the Wi-Fi and it's enabled on those three bands. You can of course disable six gigahertz if you, if you don't want it, or maybe in your country it is not allowed. That is also a distinct possibility, but Unify has a list of which countries are allowing six gigahertz indoor, especially pretty much everywhere is only indoor allowed for six gigahertz. Um, and then there are the settings. So if you were to configure all of the bits like your firewalls, etc., it is all here under settings. So you have, for example, security and you can do country restrictions and, and put up a honeypot and ad blocking, all those things. So you get the full suite of unified security stuff, which is really neat. And you can set up different, yeah, all sorts of different things that you would normally, I'm not gonna go through all that because uh, different videos are for that, but the Express 7 comes with a full suite of network configuration tools like any other Unify controller for networks. And of course, if you've noticed, in my defense, it was DNS. If you'd like this shirt or this on something else, like a mug, check out the merchandise because you can get your own. I know, it's lovely, isn't it? Um, but we are in Wi-Fi Man, which is Unify's sort of uh, speed test, signal test, um, what else does it do? Scanning, all sorts of things, teleport as well, uh, app, which you can also get for free if you want. I just like it because it does all sorts of things. But I want to do just a speed test on here. Um, so you can see now, I'm actually on the uh, five gigahertz band. So my phone has decided to go on five gigahertz, but that's all right. Let's do a speed test on the five. So I'm going to press on the express and start a speed test to it. So this is not an internet speed test, it's local network. So we're gonna start that and we'll see what we get on the five gigahertz, 80 megahertz band. Um, there we go, or channel. Five gigahertz band, 80 megahertz channel. 
All right, well, that's not bad. 536 down, 750 up. That's actually pretty good on the five gigahertz. That's not bad. There's not a lot of interference here. Let's just finish that. Um, so this is Wi-Fi 6 802.11ax on the five gigahertz. Uh, channel 36, which is an 80 megahertz channels. All right, so let's just get it onto the six gigahertz network. All right, so I'm now on the six gigahertz band and uh, you can, uh, again, I'll do the same thing. We'll do an internal test here on the local network on the 320 megahertz uh, channel. So, all right, so download's already higher. I have got over a gigabit before. It's, of course, Wi-Fi is a bit dirty, so you don't always know exactly what you're gonna get. It's about 400 on it here. Um, all right, I mean, this is the beauty of doing live videos, not live, but you know, I'm recording it as I go. Um, you can see I got 834 down, which is significantly higher than four on the five gigahertz, but it wasn't bad. Let me just go back and show you both. There we go. So on the five gigahertz, I got 536 down, and on the six gigahertz, I got 834 down, but it was reverse for upload. So um, take my word for it. Actually, you can see down here, if you haven't seen my last video on the uh, U7 Pro Max, I did also a couple of speed tests on 6 GHz uh, at, my, at my setup on the farm. And you can see down here, I got 937 down, 1044 down, and 1200 up, right? So it is a bit up and down because Wi-Fi is dirty and I'm in a town now, so there's other interferences from other networks possibly, um, but it's fast. It's really fast. 6 GHz does make a difference on your local network. So that's the Express 7 from Unify. It's an easy way to get into the Unify network suite of things here at the start. It is a network control and access point in one. Of course, it has Wi-Fi 7 on the six gigahertz band, which is, well, it's gonna be more and more things that are gonna support that. And you will get faster and faster Wi-Fi connection, which is not what we've had in the past, really. We've always been wired, right? So that's kind of neat. Now, if you consider buying one of these, do also consider using the affiliate link down below in the description because it really helps out the channel. Thank you very much. And of course, if you have any questions about any of the stuff I went through, something I missed, something that uh, didn't make sense, something that you want to know more about, put it down below in the comments and either myself or someone else that watches the video will get back to you and see what we can figure out and see if we can find an answer. Um, and as always, if you like the content, consider subscribing because that's as i said i'm low i'm going for 50,000 subscribers this year and i need your help so thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye i'm here at salt house because for some unknown reason he still runs wi-fi 5. <laughs> That's the, what was it called again? Express 7. I said, almost said Unify. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Like two. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Make sure I don't get pooed on. <laughs> so to help him out, bring him into this entry, I've got the brand new Express 7 from Unify. That's better. One more, One more time. Over, over oh. Just as you said that, one of the words. They're having a meeting up there. Go yeah. ahead.